Well, of course, it's Valentine's Day tonight. A lot of people going out tonight and probably over the next few days if you couldn't get a reservation tonight. A little snow earlier in the day made it actually, you know, kind of scenic, but I think now it's just plain cold. Am I right, yeah. Ray? Yeah, it is cold, but aside from that, my forecast for tonight, romance. Nice. See what I did there? <laughs> 20 degrees right now in Cranberry, a romantic 20 degrees in Pittsburgh as well. Most of our temperatures are still hanging out in these lower 20s, but you go up to the north and you find Newcastle and Butler back into Catanning. So pretty much down that 422 corridor right into Indiana with temperatures in the teens and they stay in the teens up to the north. So we have another night with some pretty cold air that's going to be hanging around. So plan on our actual temperatures dipping down to about 12, 13 degrees by early tomorrow morning. But the wind chills or what it feels like are going to be down into the single digits. So it will be a very cold morning at the bus stop again tomorrow. But from there, our temperatures will be building, and I think we're going to get a real treat in the temperature department, especially for Wednesday and Thursday as those temperatures start to rival uh, the, the mid-50s and even try to make a run towards 60 degrees. We still have a little cloud cover in a few spots trying to break up, but generally look for those clear skies that take over to allow our temperatures to fall off uh, quite dramatically tonight. We're going down another seven degrees here in Pittsburgh. Single digit lows not out of the question in Washington. Uh, could be as cold as 10 in Catanning and Butler early in the morning with single digits up along I-80. So very cold temperatures tomorrow morning, but we will do a good deal of warming throughout the day. And we're going to find those highs getting back into the mid to upper 30s. So we get a, a nice uh, warmer setup than we've been seeing, but still a little cool for this time of year. Into the next couple days after that, though, Wednesday and Thursday, we're talking mid to upper 50s. So very, very warm temperatures. Now, which one of those days is going to be better? I'm saying Wednesday. Here's why. Tonight and tomorrow we have those clear skies taking over. We're quiet tomorrow. I think it's going to be a mostly sunny day. Now tomorrow night into Wednesday, we'll mix in a couple clouds, but I think it's going to be a very beautiful setup. Getting into Thursday, though, watch the upper left-hand corner of your screen. This is Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Showers are going to start eking in here, and I think we get a pretty good dose of rain on Thursday. Thursday night into Friday, that rain wants to change over to snow. A little after midnight is the current timing, so around midnight is when this is expected to happen. Happen. The timing is still a, a little up in the air because this system isn't even uh, really on the on the continent just yet. And the rest of the weekend, that is going to be looking dry. So it's it's Thursday and Friday where we could have some issues with even a little snow trying to push in here. Not an issue for tonight. Just the cold, 13 degrees. And did I mention romance? Mostly clear skies taking over and then into tomorrow. 36 degrees, mostly sunny skies, a little warmer with uh, just a nice looking day. A little cooler than average, though. Next seven, these temperatures, they build up mid to upper 50s Wednesday and Thursday. As I mentioned, Wednesday's the better of the two as that's the day where we're going to have more sunshine. Thursday's the day with more rain. Thursday into Friday, a transition over to snow. Drier for the weekend should be pretty bright as well. And temperatures after cooling off Friday start to build back up for early next week.